Tonight, SpaceX is expected to make a giant leap in the race for commercial space flight and space tourism. Countdown's on. Florida's uh, Kennedy Space Center. That's where we find our own Morgan Brennan. Hi, Morgan. Hi, Joe. So this could happen in as little as 12 hours from now. Elon Musk's SpaceX is poised to make history again when this all-civilian inspiration for mission lifts off from here as soon as tonight. This will mark the first time ever that a fully private crew on a mission that's funded without any government backing has actually traveled to Earth orbit. So this is the brainchild of billionaire founder and CEO of Shift4, Jared Isaacman, who is the mission's commander. The aim here to raise $200 million, including $100 million from Isaacman personally, for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. The crew came together just six months ago. It includes scientist and educator Cyan Proctor, Lockheed Martin engineer Chris Sembrowski, and childhood bone cancer survivor and St. Jude physician assistant Haley Arsenault. Now, I spoke with them last night on the eve of this space flight, and I asked about training. No one spared us on any of the system review or knowledge of Falcon and Dragon. So that was literally thousands of pages and a lot of PowerPoint to support it. Uh, and then that transitioned into um, simulations, starting with this is how everything looks when it's normal, then going into some slightly uh, abnormal things into full up emergencies, and then demonstrating that all that knowledge that they impart on you, you could use uh, appropriately. Um, so it, it's been a heck of a journey. So the plan, they will lift off from this launch pad, 39A, inside SpaceX's Resilient Dragon capsule that will be atop a twice-flown Falcon 9 rocket. They will travel to an altitude of roughly 360 miles. That is farther than the International Space Station. It's actually the farthest for humans in space since the Hubble telescope repairs that were more than a decade ago. Three days orbiting Earth at 22 times the speed of sound. They're going to be conducting health experiments, carrying payloads, including... NFTs that will be auctioned off for St. Jude before a splashdown landing off the Florida coast. Now, just for some context here, Richard Branson's Virgin Galactic flight was an hour. It traveled to about 54 miles. Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin was 11 minutes. It was 62 miles, both of those at three times the speed of sound. So in a year of billionaires and private citizens in general going to space, this is wildly ambitious. And if all goes according to plan tonight, this will mark not only a major milestone for SpaceX, which, by the way, has a growing manifest of these types of private trips, but also for commercial space flight overall. Joe? Those numbers were unbelievable, Morgan. At 300, how many miles? And not, and not in the last decade since, since we fixed uh, some Hubble equipment. And then, and then, not since 2009. And then 22 times the speed of sound versus three times the, the speed of sound. Yes. So orbital velocity is about 17,500 miles per hour. That is going to be the rate at which they accelerate to get to this altitude in low Earth orbit and then basically need to maintain that speed to be able to orbit the Earth every 90 minutes conducting the, these experiments for three days before they splash back yeah. down. Uh, this is huge. Instead of an hour. I cannot it, stress it, enough yeah, the fact. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes, and I cannot stress enough the fact that in the past, government astronauts would spend years training for a mission like this. They did this in six months. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.